Did you know you can make your own animated bubbles in After Effects? Here's how. If you've played with any of the simulation category of effects in After Effects, you may have seen or even used CC bubbles. It's not bad by any means, but sometimes it can look a little artificial or it won't give you quite the effect you're looking for. This is a method that gives you more control over the creation of the bubbles and gives you the chance to add your own style to them. Start by making a circle with your ellipse tool. It can be any size or color and you can make it with either a fill or a stroke. I'm doing mine with a white stroke set to five pixels. Hold command or control and double click the pan behind tool to center your anchor point, then bring your circle down below your comp. Open up your position settings with P and make a keyframe at the beginning of your timeline. Move forward however far you want your animation to be and drag up your bubble so it's at the opposite vertical point of your comp. I like to have them be a little bit askew like this, but the exact placement isn't really important. Now I'd like to make two more points in between those two that are about equal distance for a total of four points. Go to your pen tool and hold click to bring up some other options. Now choose the convert vertex tool, which I almost never use, but it's really great because you can use it to drag these points to get that floaty wavy look without painstakingly applying each keyframe or having to go into the graph editor. Adjust it however you'd like, and then it's time to move on. Let's animate its size by going through contents, ellipse, path. Make a keyframe at the beginning for size, then go forward about two thirds of the way and make it a little bit bigger. Now go to the end and make it even bigger than that. Lastly and optionally, we're gonna give it a little wibble wobble by going to this button and selecting wiggle paths. Now the exact settings will come down to your preference, but a good baseline is to set its size to five, the detail to two, the points to smooth and the wiggles per second to one. And that's all there is to it. Make sure to make a couple passes through it and tweak any parts that need tweaking and then keep watching as I smoothly transition into this ad. If you're looking to save time and produce awesome work right here in After Effects and Premiere Pro, check out our links below to get access to our Motion Duck extension, which contains thousands of editable templates that are easy to update and ready to go for any commercial, client, and personal project.